Nigeria will rise again. I believe. But there are certain things I will want us to put right. And we all should agree over these things. Now, what are those things? Let's look at one today. Do you know I be the man? He was sharing it like a testimony. Showing me how powerful somebody had become in our nation. And what was he saying? He said, do you know that so and so became so strong to the point that he called his tailor and said to him, I will make you the next local government chairman. Where? He said, in this area. Just like Joke, the time for election came and it was declared after the election that that man won the election. The tailor became the local government chairman. How come? Was it that everybody voted, voted for him? He became the chairman. Then I took my time to ask a question. Did that local government chairman, that was that, that rich man's tailor, perform? And everybody said, no, he didn't perform. He didn't do well. In fact, we only knew that he became chairman on the day he was announced and nobody had anything until his tenor was over. For Nigeria to rise again, hear me, for Nigeria to rise again, we all must come to this conclusion and understand it that you don't use sensitive positions as compensation. I come again. You don't use sensitive positions to compensate people. The reason is this. Sensitive positions require that people that are, one, prepared for it, two, people that have the intelligence for it, be allowed to go into it. Now, it is only that country will see that somebody will sit in his room and somebody somewhere will tell him, you are the next governor. And just like joke, you will hear over the television, that, oh, he won the election. Now, he will win the election without a manifesto. He will win the election without the people knowing him one on one. How can we make Nigeria great if we continue like this? As far as I know, two plus three will never become four. Ten plus ten will never be twenty-two. Now, these are mathematical truths that requires a formula to achieve. Now, if we choose leaders overnight without any plan, how do you think such leaders will do well? They never plan for it. Let us all agree. Let's all come to this point where we will have respect for each of our voters' card. I come again. Let's come to that point where we will have respect for the voters' card of citizens. Let's come to the point where citizens that holds their voters' card will be able to sit down with those trying to contest for positions to listen to the ideas they will be bringing on board. Until we get to this point, Nigeria may continue to struggle. But like I said, I didn't come here to criticize anyone. Neither did I come here to mock anyone. I only came to show us, from my understanding, what we should do to get Nigeria running again. Now, in the state where I live, it took us time, you know, for us to listen to campaigns, you know, uh, it took us time for us to go to vote for the leaders of our choice. And when we had the popular vote produce a leader, we were glad. In eight years, the man did excellently well to the point that even everyone that voted 
could bring their hands on their chest that yes, we voted for him. For Nigeria to arise again, let us stop using leadership position as souvenirs. For Nigeria to rise again, let us stop using leadership position as a means of compensating people for one thing or the other we believe they must have done for us. I believe Nigeria will rise again. But every Nigerian should understand that we should use our voters card correctly. Nigeria will rise again.